doesn't love a good photo backdrop? Today I'm going to show you how to make this really fun fall themed photo booth complete with some Thanksgiving themed props, which is perfect for any of your Thanksgiving celebrations. Let's check out what we're going to need. Fall themed fabrics, scissors, removable hooks, metallic marker, ribbon in various sizes, cardstock, scrapbook paper, glue gun and glue sticks, wooden dowels, mini chalkboards, nylon rope, chalk, and a craft glue stick. So the first step is to prepare our fabric for the backdrop. I'm going to grab this really fun corn printed fabric and just push all the rest over to the side for now. So go ahead and just open this up and then use some scissors to cut it into strips that are about two inches wide. Don't worry about your lines being perfect because eventually all of the fabrics are just going to mesh together into one big texture. This is going to be a lot of cutting of fabric, so you might want to just sit down in front of a movie while you do it, but as you finish each fabric, just move on to the next one. So once you've cut quite a few of these fabric strips, you can put them to the side, and this fabric we're actually going to rip it instead of cutting, which is going to add some really nice texture. So to rip this fabric, we're just going to do a small cut here and then just start ripping it. And you end up with an edge here that has a little different of a texture than the rest of the fabric strips. So I purposefully got some really long pieces of fabric because I wanted my backdrop to be really tall. But if you just have some shorter scrap fabric, you can always just knot them together and then you can end up with this really long look without buying a ton of extra fabric. So now we have one last piece of the backdrop and that is going to be our ribbon. So just grab some ribbon and measure it against one of your cut fabric pieces. Once you have them at the exact same length, just cut off the ribbon and that's all there is to it. So now just keep doing that until you have as much ribbon as you want for your backdrop. So now it's time to build our backdrop. I already cut down my rope to be about the width of my photo booth, but you can do it at pretty much any width that you want. So now just grab one of your strips of fabric and your hot glue gun. You can put your fabric kind of over the rope and then just put a strip of hot glue right here on the fabric and press it down onto itself. This is also a good way to attach it because since it's not actually glued to the rope, you can always slide it off later to make one of these for every single season. So I think this backdrop is ready to hang, but first let's put it aside for a moment and make some props. So you can get chalkboard signs like these at pretty much any craft store these days. And we're just going to write a little message on there to prompt people to fill in their own words for our photo booth. So I think I'm going to keep this one pretty simple and just write, I heart. And now everybody can fill in what it is that they love. So now that that's done, to make it a little bit easier to hold, I think we're just going to glue on a dowel. So just turn it over. Grab your hot glue gun one more time and just use a little bit of hot glue to attach the dowel straight there onto the back. So now your guests can use some chalk to just write anything that they like. And there you go, a really simple, really easy photo booth prop. So you can also make these really fun Thanksgiving themed props. We're gonna have a template just like this down in the description for you to download. But I think what makes them super fun is using a variety of scrapbook paper with different textures, maybe some glitter paper or some metallic paper. This is really how you can just make it your own. So now that all of our props are done, it's time to hang the backdrop and we're gonna hang it right over there. Put your removable hooks on your wall or wherever it is that you want to hang the backdrop and then just tie a loop on either end of the rope. Then just go ahead and hang that on your hooks. You also want to make sure that you're using hooks that are strong enough for the weight of all of that fabric. And if you need to, you can also hang a third hook in the middle to support the middle of the backdrop. 
So make sure you tune in on Thursday when we're going to be hosting a Friendsgiving party with a ton of our other YouTube friends, and they're all going to be bringing their own DIY crafts and food as well, and I'm sure that our photo booth is going to get a lot of use. So let me know in the comments what type of prop would you make for your Thanksgiving photo booth. The possibilities are endless. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all again on Thursday at the party.